So today we're going to be looking at the Ocean Free BF G1 Algae Wafers. Perfect for your catfish and a few other of your aquatic creatures will end up loving this as well. Okay, so what I really like about this first off is the tin. It's heavy duty, it's big, uh, it's sort of going to be perfect for A, obviously storing the food at the moment, but once we've run out of the food, we can easily use it to store more food or even some other products that you might have sitting around your fish room or, you know, in your cupboards under your aquarium. Now these wafers come in two sizes. They come in the small and a large. These are the large ones, um, which is really good for my larger sailfin pleco. All right, so when you open the box up, there is a massive thing of instructions, um, but I didn't really play with that. Uh, you've got this bag in there. Basically, it's a Ziploc bag. Uh, perfect for keeping your algae wafers nice and fresh. You have a spoon with two sizes, obviously one for the smaller uh, wafers and one for the larger wafers. Perfect for not getting <laughs> algae wafers all over your hands when you're trying to feed your fish. And then last but not least, you have the wafers. Basically, you just want to cut this bag open and then refill the Ziploc bag. That way you keep everything nice and fresh and then you can keep it inside your tin and keep the tin nice and clean. So while we're filling this up, basically the ingredients in your algae wafers are your standard ones of your fish proteins, your spirulina and your krill. So they're pretty handy, pretty tasty, pretty easy for the fish to uh, to take them on board. Uh, they are pretty dense too, so they they take a bit of effort to break up. Uh, I break them up to feed some of my animals, uh, but my large pleco <laughs> loves to just grab a whole piece in his mouth and just suck on it uh, until he has got a full belly. All right, so it passes the package test. Let's go see how much the fish enjoy it, and I'll show you who else really enjoys these algae wafers in my fish room. So all in all, the ocean-free algae wafers are a real hit in this fish room. My shrimp love it, and catfish love it. And you even saw the lawnmower blenny and the royal dolly back fighting over it. So it's definitely something I like to feed as an alternative to just your regular fish foods, your live foods, your dry foods, and also your freeze-dried foods. So if you're looking for that algae wafer that you want to try something a little bit different, definitely check it out. I love the tin. The tin is probably the best fish food container that you'll get because it's so handy after you've finished using all that food. If you made it this far today, thank you very much. I've been using DaVinci Resolve 
the first time I've ever edited with this program. It's been really tricky, but also a lot of fun at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm hoping that uh, as I get to learn this a little bit better, you'll end up with a lot better content coming from the Aquamate channel. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, it really helps me out. And if you get new fish, always acclimate them first. I'm Josh from Aquamate. I'll see you soon. What a wonderful world.